from Merida, Kabaliwan, or Mock City, Philippines. He brings a professional record consisting of 28 wins, four defeats, with 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the interim WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, John Riel Cuadro Alas Casimero. Hailing from East London, Eastern Cape, South Africa, he has a professional record of 28 wins, three defeats, with 21 of his 28 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former IBF Junior Bantamweight World Champion, and tonight, the reigning and defending WBO Bantamweight Champion of the World, Solani last born today. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. But he's not been in the ring competitively since October last year. In that time, Casimero has had three knockout victories. His last four wins have all come by stoppage. He is a banger. And he is most definitely here thinking and believing that he can defeat this brilliant South African. In fact, that might never be broken. <laughs> what a life's mysteries, John. He wants the brilliant Japanese fighter, oh yeah, Inui, who beat Nanito Donaire in that terrific fight, what was it, three weeks ago? Oh, great. He kind of just does enough. We commentated oh, on sorry. a fight over in Yekaterinburg. Last year, it was that fight, last October. Yeah. And that was that, well, fairly quiet opening round. Bell just... Second down, round two. Again, Casemiro got too much experience just to rush in because he knows... He Which this is a little bit at the moment. Yeah, it is. You know, and again, Casemiro was trying to, trying to attack, but... Oh... Title fight and Zelani Tete, the taller man, that's where he goes in, and it looked as though it was a clash of heads there. No, I think it's a good well, it is actually, yeah, I thought it was a good last uh, October. Well, he, well, obviously, oh, that's better there for Casemiro. All the fight with the longer reach, I, I want to keep it long. You gotta make you gotta try and bring it to me. No. Oh, what? Casemiro got him. He's got him with a butt now. He's given hits. He's got him with a body shot, was it? No, it was on the chin. It was. It was a short right hook to the chin. And he's in trouble. He's all over the place. He's in real trouble. Tete's in a lot of trouble. And the referee wants to look at him. He's allowing it to continue. But can Casimiro take him out here? It happened so quickly. And he's still got a long way to go in this round. There's one minute, 20 seconds. And... Tete still looks unsteady. He's got to buy some time here and make Casimero miss. Casimero needs to pick his punches and he can't find the clean shot and he falls down. Tete. I don't think there was a punch which put him down. He just collapsed to the canvas. He's not recovered from the first time. shot. He's not recovered from the first knockdown. I'm sure of it. Referee asking, is he okay? Casimero wants to finish it right here, right now, and finish it he has. The title changes hands in sensational fashion. Zelani Tete stopped by John Riel Casimero of the Philippines, and the big South African favourite suffers a defeat which was simply not expected, no way. Well, we're sat here just praising Tete up. And all of a sudden, Casimiro comes in with a short hook, hits, uh, sort of turns the body, hits, hit, hits Tete sort of flush on the chin, squared up. And he waits for you to make the mistake, waits for you to engage. But we didn't know, we weren't giving Casimiro enough credit for all. He's badly stunned by this. You're going to see it now here, nothing's happening. Now all of a sudden, look, he doubles up really quick, but the first one did all the damage, and he was gone. Well, anyway, you, see, you can't see it there by the referee, but, but it, it was a great shot. He just, he stepped around and... The left foot's gone outside of the right foot of the southpaw. Oh, look at that. Right, on right, the right on the temple. Right on the temple. Right shoulder, right hook, right on the temple. 
And he does it again, doubles it up again, but the first one did all the damage. He jumped in with a body shot, which I, initially I thought was what had done it, and then he lands with two right hands to the... Oh, really, as the opponent, no one really thought he would win. No, no one forget, people forgot that he's a 2-8 world champion, no one could thought he could win, and he, he what a sensational victory for him. And I wonder if he knows we're talking about him, and there's the moment which makes boxing special. Congratulations from Tete to the new champion. We didn't really see that one coming. And here now is Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 14 seconds of round number three. Our referee in charge, Steve Gray, waves it off. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout and new WBO bantamweight champion of the world, John Riel Guadalajara. To say he is happy would be a significant understatement. He is utterly delighted.